Hello YouTube! Rusid07 is here and today I'll be talking to you about rainforests, or more specifically the animals of rainforests. If you're expecting an awesome animation with a cool storyline and plenty of action, you're wrong. Because this is a school project and is purely educational with a couple of visual gags of course. Now I'm off that onto the rainforests. <coughs> Now, there are three types of rainforest, tropical, montane, and temperate. Today, I'll be focusing on the animals that inhabit these places. First, we journey to the Western African rainforest in, you guessed it, Africa. It is a tropical rainforest home to many animals, such as the leopard and the rufous fishing owl. The rufous fishing owl was originally thought to have a much smaller population than it actually has. However, it is still classified as a vulnerable species and is threatened by habitat loss. Their population is very fragmented and they are also threatened by hunting. As its name suggests, the rufous fishing owl fishes for its food, it makes its home close to rivers, streams or lakes, and feeds on crabs as well as other semi-aquatic species besides fish. Let's take a visit to the Amazon, which is home to the longest snake in the world, the green anaconda. The green anaconda can grow up to 9 metres long and can weigh up to 230 kilograms. It has been known to hit hippos and even crocodiles whole. How does it do this, you might ask? Well, like other constricting snakes, its jaw can unhinge itself so that it can swallow its prey. After consuming a large piece of prey, like a deer, that prey can last it for months as it slowly digests it by basking in the sun for energy. The anaconda is an ambush predator that can hold its breath for up to 15 minutes at a time. It stays nearly completely submerged in murky water with just its nostrils and eyes above water. It stays there as it waits for some unsuspecting prey to take a drink and then bang, it grabs on. And if the prey is small, it drags it into the water to drown it. And if the prey is large, it wraps around it and suffocates it with its powerful body. Now, I think we can go somewhere a little closer to home. In the rainforests of Queensland, you can find anything from the cassowary to the bandicoot. The southern cassowary is the largest Australian land animal and is a flightless bird. It is pretty big reaching heights of more than two meters and is very dangerous. They are more than willing to kick you with their powerful legs when provoked or threatened. Despite being very colorful, the southern cassowary can be quite hard to spot in the rainforest, making it an ideal environment for the bird to go unnoticed. Their eggs are the third largest in the world, weighing an average of 584 grams, about the same as 15 medium-sized chicken eggs. Not too far away from the temperate rainforests of Canada is the montane rainforests of the United States of America. And one furry little creature is the Colorado chipmunk. As its name suggests, the Colorado chipmunk is found throughout Colorado. It feeds on berries, seeds, flowers, prickly pears, currants, and many other plant matters. Raptors and birds of prey are the main predators of the Colorado chipmunk. Though small, they play an important role in the ecosystem by spreading seeds and feeding large birds. A uh, slightly larger animal that also lives in the montane rainforests of America is the bobcat, also known as the lynx. With light grey-brown fur, a short tail and large pointed ears, this animal looks like a miniature snow leopard, or at least just as beautiful. They feed on hares, rabbits, birds and even bats and in times of scarce prey, the males will even try and hunt deer. The bobcat is preyed upon by wolves, mountain lions, and is hunted by humans. Smile. 